Did you know that? Right. Did you know you were God's chosen people? Wanting to be elect of the earth. A God on the earth. Who told you you was a voice? I really like looked it up. You looked it up. So what are you looking at? Like Google? Yeah, what's... Google. Now, who owns Google? Forgot his name. Is it what, what nation? It was a white man, right? Yeah. He's lying to you. He ain't telling you this. He says, God says you are. Look, look at the look at the sign. Now this sign right here, you see the twelve tribes of Israel. This sign right here says these are the names God gave us, right? And this side, this is the name our oppressor gave us. African American, Black American. We all go by that. We all these brothers of prayer, all ones go by that too, until we find out who we are. So on this side, where you find yourself at? You're from the tribe of Judah. Give me that Hebrew 7 and 4 14. Now, I'm going to show you that's a powerful job, a powerful tribe, even though all of them are powerful tribe. But guess what? The Lord and Savior came from that same tribe. This should give you hope. This should build up your confidence that the black Lord and Savior came from the same bloodline you came from. Watch this. This book of Hebrews, chapter 7, and verse 14. Uh -huh. Where it's evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. He did what? That our Lord sprang out of Judah. Judah, when he said he sprang, it came from the tribe of Judah. We read of Matthew's 1 and 1, his lineage and generation. So guess what, bro? You came from the same tribe that the black Messiah came from. That should give you hope. That should lift you up. That should say, I'm not a Moorish no more. I'm a Israelite from a tribe of Judah. I'm going to show you more. Give me do around me chapter one and one. Uh, you know, one and one. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to just say and tell you to give you hopes and dreams like the Christian church do. They'll tell you and I'll pull one scripture and show you that you, you, uh, you're from the tribe of uh, Judah or you're an Israelite. Watch this. Watch this, bro. Let's say Davion, right? Okay. This book of Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. All Israel. Everybody on this, this, this. All 12 tribes. Give me Deuteronomy 28. You know when I'm on 15. Now I'm going to show you. I'm going to walk you through the curses. And at the end, when I finish, I want you to say, do you identify with the curses? Or mm, I don't think it fit me. This is your this this is what you gotta choose you this day. Watch this. Come on. This book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So who is Moses speaking to? He just read it in Deuteronomy 1 and 1. This is the prophet Moses, your forefathers. Who is Moses speaking to right now? Your child, right? Remember in 1 and 1, it says, These are the words that Moses spake unto all Israel. Moses is still, that was chapter 1. This is chapter 28. We are almost at the end of the book. And he's still talking to these same people. Come on. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. There are these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he says, if you do not hearken and keep God's commandments, curses is going to come upon thee and overtake you. There we are. A curse, is it a good thing or a bad thing? I would say it's bad. A bad thing. Why would you say a bad thing? That's what we've been told to believe. That's what we've been told to believe. And the Bible says it's going to explain more what a curse is. Watch this. Verse 16. Verse 16. Uh, curse shall thou be in the city. Now we're in the city of St. Louis. He says, Curse. This is Moses speaking to them. He says, If you break his commandments, curse is going to come upon you. Now he started off with the first curse. You in the city. Curse shall thou be in the city. Now let's just deal with the city of St. Louis. We don't know what else. We in St. Louis, right? We're gonna deal with the city of St. Louis. When you go into the cities and the neighborhoods that our people thrive in, what is that? Like what you mean? Like what is what's the environment like? Property, what else? Crime. Crime. Brothers killer brothers. Stuff like that. I mean, is that a blessing or a curse? That's a curse. That's what Moses prophesied. That this this ain't happened to them at that time. This is a future prophecy. Now we looking at the scriptures and we identify that the curses of God is upon our people to this day. And you said all the things you said was you correct. Drugs, gun violence, gang violence, 
You go to Chicago, the same thing. You go to New York, the same thing. You go to Atlanta, the same thing. What our people vibe at, it's the same curses. I don't care what Oka, you can go across seas. Guess what? They still learn. It's going to pursue you. Read. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, huh? and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Now when it says, cursed shalt thou be in the field, it's talking about the cosmos. When we, this, this, these curses just didn't happen to us last year. It's over four or five hundred years them curses was following us. That's a long ass time, don't you think? Still following us and it's still plaguing our people to this day. Why? Because we refuse to keep God's commandments. And as long as we keep refusing, guess what? We're going to keep getting the Trayvon Martin. We're going to keep getting the uh, Breonna Taylor. What was the other brother they got? They killed in uh, Mississippi. They, they machine caught. You heard about him? They still find body parts from that brother. That's going to keep happening if we don't keep God's commandments. Curse shall there be in the field. Our people that worked in the cotton field worked from sun up to sundown. Now when some of us got eight hour jobs, 12 hour jobs, yo, and then we get to go home and spend the rest of the day. They did not. But guess what? We still cursed because we got to serve the people that hate us. The white man and the rest of these nations, they hate us. What's going on, bro? What's your name? Oh. What's your name? Reggie. Reggie? So I'm teaching, uh, okay, what's your name? Then, yeah, who we are going to the fight, right? What's your nationality? Let me ask you that. What's your nationality? Nationality. No, I'm just black. You black? Yep. See, you black. You know black when I say when I ask, I don't know if you heard me. I said if I ask ten people, uh, ten black persons, people, what's their nationality? You said Moors, right? He says black. Can I get a plane ticket to go to the land of black? Oh, I misunderstood your question. My uh, so, what's your nationality? American. You're American, right? Still different. He, he understand, he probably understand me, you know, so he probably misunderstood me. Now he says America. Before y'all came up, I said if I ask 10 different people, my, uh, my own people, what's their nationality, I'm gonna get 10 different answers. I asked the brother right here, he says Moors. And I asked you, and you said America. Why are we getting two different answers and we the same damn people? Why? Why? Because we've been destroyed. Give me 48. Watch this. This book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 28. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Now because this part is still in the curse. I'm going over the curse of, uh, of, of Deuteronomy 28, bro. Just in case you uh, want to, I'm going to keep you up to speed. So I'm, I'm teaching Devian who we are. He says he's a Moors. He says he's America. After y'all leave, I'm going to ask that same question again before y'all walk away. He says, read it again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Now, this is one of the curses. He said, God said, you're going to serve your enemies with an S. So it's more than one. Because a lot of people say, we'll ask somebody, what's your enemy? They're going to say the devil. That's, that's, that's a one person. But the word says enemies with an S. So it's more than one. Yes, the white man is the devil. Correct, he is. I know a lot of people don't want to say it, but I don't say it. That's what the Bible says. Come on. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Now, they wasn't clever enough to come and enslave us. God put the spirit on them to come and enslave us, because it says the Lord shall send against thee. Why? This is a punishment. God says you don't keep your commandments. Guess what? Curses. And one of the curses is the other nation keeping us in captivity. They feeding us garbage. They giving us the worst schools. The worst education, guess what? We still can thrive. Because guess what? We're God's chosen people. We are special into God. They can put us at the bottom once they already did, and we're still at the bottom. Guess what? We still thriving as a people. But they they trying their best to keep us down. They trying their best to keep this truth hidden. But guess what? We here. We can read now. We can understand what the Bible says now, Master. We can read. What's the call? And hunger. It says the hogan. This is one of the things you're going to say your enemy. In hogan, right? Where do we go to get food? Who owns the grocery stores? He said, oh, man, is that true? Not just the only white man. You got the arrow. They own the list. The spot. Look, we've been in these neighborhoods, but the our community, why we can't own uh, our own businesses? 
we got a barbecue spot, but guess what? We still selling unclean food to our people. Because we're all supposed to be eating pork, catfish, crabs, lobster, shrimp, none of that stuff. God got a dietary law. But as long as we keep eating that, we continue to break God's commandment, our people are going to keep to continue with high blood pressure, gout, diabetes. Because God says, eat this, don't eat this. Come on, watch this. And hunger, and, and thirst, and thirst. What you drinking, bro? Water. Water. Where you get it from? Who owns that? I'm going to say a uh, white man. White man. It says we're going to serve them to get the simple, basic things. Food, water, breathe. And hunger. And hunger. And in thirst. And in nakedness. And nakedness. If you look at the back of your shirt, it's going to say made in what? It ain't going to be made by Taiwan, uh, Taiwan or your cousin. It's going to say made in China. Made in Taiwan. We don't, we don't, we don't even over there to help them push this over into our people. We do not have nothing. Y'all maybe say, yeah, y'all look at the superstar. Yeah, guess what they had to do? They had to keep quiet to continue to do what they're doing. Superstars, celebrities, all of them, they can't say certain things to their people. And guess what? Kanye West, for example, what did he say? What's that basketball player? Kyrie. No, no. What did he say? He got destroyed. He back on, he back on the court, ain't he? But well, he didn't even say nothing. He just posted, he reposted the link to a, to a movie, and it got on his ass. I'm telling you, who was there before? Nick Cannon, what did he say? He had to go to them, them fake Jewish people to apologize, to get his show back. Because you can't say anything. There's only a certain things you can say. The Sean Jackson. All those superstars, these are examples. The same thing in slavery, a lot of people try to rise up or something, or try to escape, or try to cause revolt. Guess what? The ones that did it, they're going to make a public example to let y'all know y'all better not do it either. And you will see our people going against what, what they're trying to do is the truth. Who is that? Shannon Short. What's the other dude? Stephen A. Smith. Oh, he should have said nothing. He didn't say anything. He just posted a link. And they was only, oh, uh, um, Shaq said the same thing. He shouldn't have said nothing. He did not say anything. He didn't. He just posted a link. This is our people. But we out here, we don't care. We don't have no money like that. We ain't got nothing to lose. So we're going to teach what the what God says the Lord. Go. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.